Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and on this video I'm going to be giving you a full interior tour of my 140 year old house back here. Kind of wish I'd done one of these a long time ago because we could really see the changes that have happened. Of course, bear in mind if you're new to the channel, this house is a major renovation project. We're still currently emptying it out of trash, gutting different areas, and replacing wood in different areas. Uh, but a question that I get asked a lot is for a floor plan of this house uh, because some Sometimes when I'm working in different areas of the house, people kind of get lost as to the layout of the house. So I figured I'd answer that question today by giving you a full interior tour of my 140 year old house. All right, to start out on the outside of the house, we are on the south side of the house, the side that faces south. The house faces east, faces the sunrise. And we're gonna go in at the very back of the house into the kitchen. Now keep in mind, this is a very common farmhouse floor plan here. This is four big rooms with a central hallway. Now this house actually does have five functional rooms um, on it because the fifth room was added on very soon after this house was built. And th that addition um, was so early that it actually matches very well with the rest of the house. Now there were other additions that we're not even gonna get into today, but there were other additions that were added onto the house in the 50s and 60s, and those have been removed from the house for now. So we have started at the very back of the house here. This is the kitchen. Now, if you've already been watching this channel, you'll know that I've been gutting this room and this is the worst of the structural damage to the house is back here. The floors are bad pretty much all throughout the house, but this area back here actually does have some structural damage to it. But just for the sake of starting this video, we're gonna start at the very back of the house. So hopefully people will be able to understand the complete layout and floor plan here. So again, we are at the back of the kitchen. Um, kind of to note a quick change here, um, I use my light. You can see this seam in the paneling. This is originally where a window was, um, but in the 60s, these aluminum windows were added in. Now out this door right here is a side porch. Originally that was a wooden porch out there and there's a well underneath that porch. This house did originally have a well um, that was right out that door and on that side porch. The side porch has been modernized and turned into a concrete porch, which is actually one reason that there's so much structural damage back here is due to these concrete porches that held water and held it up against the side of the house. So again, we are in the very back of the house. There are no rooms past this point. And this was the kitchen of the house. There was originally some form of dog trot right here. This wall was cut out and opened up here. Originally there was a exit right there from that room and an entrance to the kitchen right here, like a doorway right here. But during the 60s, this wall was cut out and this little pantry was also built right here. I don't know exactly what kind of door was originally here because, of course, this doorway has been changed and these windows added in. Um, but I do believe there was originally a door here. We can see some molding kind of hidden up there in the wall um, where this was changed and all of this was added in. On the other side, there's another entrance to this little um, dog trot area, for lack of a better word, the space between the living quarters of the house and the kitchen of the house. And again, another door right there. Now, these doors, I don't know how original they are to the house. If we look at some details on this door, in particular over here, we can see that this door was either moved from a different part of the house or was taken from somewhere else and added onto the house. But due to the trimming and stuff around the door, I do think that these are original more or less, even if the doors themselves were changed. Now we're gonna go into the first room of the house. This originally would have been a bedroom. And of course, if you watch my channel, you'll know that this is what I call the showroom. This is also my office, more or less, that I work out of um, shipping stuff out that we sell on the old bird farm eBay store. This was originally a bedroom here with two closets, one right here and another one right here. Now these were pocket closets that were beside this chimney 
and fireplace right here. These pocket closets were used to um, save space or use space that otherwise would have been dead space beside the chimneys. They have short ceilings and above that ceiling is just an opening to isolate the chimney from the rest of the house. Now this is a pass-through closet um, today, but this was not originally a pass-through closet. This would have been just a closet that does not go into another room. At some time, this closet was opened up and a door was moved from somewhere else into this house um, into this space to make it a pass-through closet. But originally, both of these closets would have been just closets and not a walk-through like it is today. So again, standing in the back of this room, um, right where we walked in through this door here, you can see um, the layout of this room. Now there is a bunch of stuff in here, different antiques that I've added in and some of my own collection. And again, some stuff that's necessary for shipping. But this originally would have been a bedroom, I would say from the two closets in here. And again, this door goes out to the kitchen. This door goes to the central hallway of the house. But today we're gonna to use the pass-through closet that was added in. All right, so now we're stepping into what was the parlor of the old bird farmhouse. Of course, it's got these beautiful, beautiful old mantel pieces in here. You'll be able to see them more in the future as we continue to clear out this house and uh, do more work on it. Hopefully all of these rooms eventually will be cleaned out so you can truly get a good idea of the stuff that's in here because this house has some of the most beautiful mantel pieces in it in this area. This originally would have been a parlor, I believe. It would have had no closets and there would have been a singular doorway right here. Remember, um, I talked about this was a four room house with a central hallway. Well, some of the stuff has been changed, um, including this big, large opening right here. So we're gonna walk into the hallway now. And we're gonna talk about where another wall was. And that is right here. You can see the space between the beaded board ceiling up there. There originally was a wall right here that came down. And that wall would have had a singular doorway that separated this room from the rest of the rooms. Now it was apparently pretty common to remove this wall so when you walked in the front door, you walked into one big room. But again, we can see evidence that there was a wall here. Now there are no closets in this room. I believe that this would have been like a living room um, for lack of a better word. I'm not sure that they would have exactly called it that back when this house was originally built. Obviously this room is still absolutely filled up with stuff and is something that we have to continue to go through and clear out in the future. So again, we're at the front door of the house now. This is the front of the house, the main entrance, the beautiful transom window that used to have matching glass in the door right here. So when you would have walked into this house, you would have walked into this central hallway here. You would have had four doors, four single doorways, like the two in the back. One here, one here, and then the other two that exist. You can see the original doorway here, right there, where it's been cut out, but you can still see where the original doorway was up there. So, we're walking in through the front door at this point. Our kitchen is back that way. Of course, our parlor's here, and what I call the showroom is behind that door right there. And this would have been the hallway here. Now there is a bathroom that was added on behind that door there, but originally that would have been the end of this part of the house. So the kitchen sticks out from the back of the house and this would have been from here all the way into that room would have been the original back of the house. But later additions added on a bathroom right behind that doorway. But you can see the old transom window that's up there um, then that's an indicator that that was originally an outside exit with a transom window. Now this is another area that I'm in the middle of cleaning out as we speak, actually. Um, so that will hopefully soon be gone. And we can look back at this video and remember how it used to be before we cleaned it out and added a new floor. 
So going into this hallway, we have another room in this house. And that is this one. This was another bedroom. It has two closets. Again, this is a room that has to be cleared out of this house. You can see that the floor has given way back here. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff to deal with in this part of the house. Um, hopefully all the bones are good in this house. Structurally, this house has always been, uh, with the exception of the kitchen, this house has been super solid. Just the floors have given way. This was, again, historically another bedroom in the back of this house. This room does have two closets. Now, the closets are kind of interesting in this room because one is lower than the other. And we will go ahead and step in. And you can get a good view of the two different heights of the closet here. Now, as to why this was done that way, I have absolutely no idea, but it's an interesting feature. Another fireplace back here. Um, this is the most plain mantelpiece in the whole house. The rest of them have a mirror or are nicer than this one is. And so this is the furthest back room in the house. Um, again, this is not an original door right here. This was added on in the 60s that went on to another addition there. And then back here is a built concrete porch that is also not original to the house. This wall right here would have originally been a, um, of course, this is an interior wall that we're looking at, but on the outside, it was strictly an exterior wall, the end of the house there and the end of the house here. And of course, the kitchen stuck out further back there. And to uh, take a break from the tour. I don't know what that was. Something moved in here. Anyway, to take a break from the tour, this, uh, this is going to be an upcoming clean out here. Um, and this one is going to be super painful to go through um, this room back here. But uh, let's get back to the tour. All right, so we come out of this room back into the central hallway here. Again, the, uh, the showroom is right back there, so nobody gets lost. Showroom is back there. Parlor's here. This is where I have rebuilt part of the hallway. And uh, again, hallway here. So we're gonna walk back into the living room of the house, which is here. Another place that's gonna take some major clean out. But I look forward to the day that we can look Back at this video and say look what we started with and look where we are now definitely gonna be an amazing day um, and here is a good idea of some more changes to the house or a good example of some more changes to the house only this center window is original to the house these other two windows were added on later but they were added on early enough that they mostly match except for the interior molding and we know that they were done by James Henry Byrd because written on the side of the window is Byrd and Baldwin, one of two, where it was ordered and or where the windows were ordered and shipped to the Byrd and Baldwin store. There are also wavy glass in both of these that tells how old they are. So there were a lot of early changes to this house. Over here we have another absolutely beautiful mantelpiece in this house and this one is quite gorgeous. Um, it's got detail. It looks like maybe paintings, um, some kind of art that was on here. It's absolutely gorgeous stuff. Um, I don't know if there'll be any way to kind of clean this stuff up and uh, reveal what was on there, but it sure would be interesting to see. And again, this is stuff that as we continue um, this project, we'll be able to take closer looks at in the future. So big living room here and we're going to go ahead and walk into this room of the house now bear in mind this was an addition to the house back here originally it was a four room house now we have already covered the four rooms of the house this one the one across over there 
the showroom, as I call it, where I have my collection and work out of, and of course the bedroom that is right behind this wall here. But if we go into here, this room was added on. It has a drop ceiling in it, uh, but originally it had a plaster ceiling. All of the rest of the rooms in this house had this beaded board ceiling. You can see up there had the beadboard ceiling and are, I believe, 14 foot ceilings. This has a drop ceiling in it, um, but up above this drop ceiling is an old plaster ceiling um, that you can see from the attic. And one day we will probably reveal. And originally this was an exterior wall right here. This would have been an exterior wall um, and this was added on, of course, very early to the house. So it matches from the exterior. It matches from the exterior a lot better than it matches from the interior. Um, there is original style molding around this window right here, but it probably would have been moved from elsewhere in the house because there's not molding around these windows, which also could have been moved from elsewhere. But that interior molding around this window was probably removed from window along this wall here when this room was added on very early in this house's existence. Behind these two doors, this used to be a closet over here, and this used to be a bathroom right here. Those were added on in the 50s and have since been removed, so that is strictly exterior now. And that's pretty much it for the interior tour of this old house. Um, obviously, you can see what I'm up against with the trash removal from this house, and the stuff has to be removed one piece at a time from this house because there are some absolute historic treasures in this house, um, but they're mixed in with just garbage so rather than just getting a big trailer and emptying the house in one fell swoop we really have to go through everything one piece at a time because again there are major historic treasures to be found in this house so as we close this video um, we have uh, this room back here added on living room here central hallway that we're standing on back bedroom here parlor here And then our showroom back here and of course kitchen behind that door there. So that's been a full interior tour of the Old Bird Farmhouse. I hope that answered you guys questions. Um, let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see more in detail um, that you saw here. Of course in the future we're going to be exploring those closets and that sort of thing as we clean this house out and that should be super exciting to find out what's hidden back there and uh, any treasures we might run across. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it answered the questions um, about the uh, layout of this house and that you guys have a very, uh, clear understanding now so uh, people don't get uh, lost when I'm bouncing around from different sections of this house. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time out here on the Old Bird Farm.